Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. And in today's video, I've got a bunch of blade style fuses and cartridge fuses. And I'm gonna be blowing these fuses. I'm gonna let you see the process of them actually blowing. And I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of what the fuses look like before and after they were blown. And by the way, guys, I'm gonna be blowing these fuses for demonstration purposes only. I do not suggest that you do this, just a little bit of a fire hazard. This is on a 12 volt system. These are automotive fuses, of course. So there's no risk to me of getting shocked or electrocuted, but I'm still not suggesting that you do this uh, because it can be a safety issue. Now, if you're interested in one particular type of fuse, uh, you can fast forward to that particular segment in this video of that fuse being blown and the side-by-side -side comparison. For this fuse right here, go ahead and skip to that time mark. For this fuse right here, skip to that time mark. For this fuse, skip to that. For this fuse, skip to this time mark. For this fuse, skip to that time mark. This fuse is at that time. This fuse is at that time. This fuse is at that time. This fuse, actually, that's an extra. Don't worry about that one. And this fuse is at this time. Let's go ahead and get into it. All righty, here's the first one. And let's go ahead and apply ground to that. Three, two, one. And here's the before and after image of that particular fuse right here. Okay, here's the next fuse. Let's go ahead and apply ground to it. Three, two, one. the before and after images of that particular fuse. All right, now here's the next fuse, and this fuse is actually a two-in-one fuse. It has two fuses within this one body right here. We're gonna blow one side of it. You can actually blow both sides of it. So let's go ahead and add a ground to this and blow our fuse. Three, two, one. And here is the before and after images of that particular fuse. And as mentioned, uh, there are two sides of this fuse. Uh, either or both sides could blow. And here's the next fuse in line here. And yes, this, was, uh, this one's very similar to the first fuse in size and uh, the actual way that it's made. But the plastic's a, a little less see-through on this one. So let's go ahead and add a ground to this and blow our fuse. Three, two, one. And here are the before and after images of this particular fuse. All right, here's our next fuse in line. Let's go ahead and apply ground to it and blow it. Three, two, one. And here are the before and after images of that particular fuse. Okay, and here's our next fuse in line. Now, something to keep in mind about this fuse here, it's supposed to have uh, some clear plastic on top of it. This one is actually missing the clear plastic on the top of it. So let's go ahead and apply ground to this and blow our fuse here. Three, two, one. Ooh, that got a little too hot. Yeah, that was kind of a high amperage fuse right there. So. Uh, my leads have some resistance in them, so that's why it's smoked up like that. Now here is the uh, before and after, or here are the before and after images of this particular fuse right here. Okay, here's our next fuse in line here. Let's go ahead and apply ground to it and blow it. Three, two, one. And here are the before and after images of this particular fuse. And here's our next fuse in line. Let's go ahead and apply ground and blow this fuse. Three, two, one. And here are the before and after images of this fuse right here. All right, and here's our next fuse in line. Let's go ahead and apply ground to it and let's blow it. Three, two, one one and here are the before and after images of this particular fuse right here well there you have it guys i sincerely hope that this helped somebody um, if you have any questions please comment down below also please read the entire description down below this video before you apply any of this knowledge there may be some things I need to clarify 
and that's where I do that. And also, I don't suggest you go blowing fuses in the manner that I just did. Um, it was a little bit of a fire hazard, so I'm not suggesting that you do this, okay guys? Uh, but this was just basically just an example of what a good fuse looks like compared to a blown fuse uh, in regards to these particular type of fuses right here. Thanks again guys. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.